What the heck is that? Wonders, oh wonders on the void. So many wonders to be old. So many questions in my mind. So many questions all the time. Ask them so so easily calm. I let you know to ask someone who is a master from the trade. How cloud get the shape? Welcome to What the Heck is That with David Shaventura. Welcome back, everyone. We have part two on my interview with Chloe from Food Network. Who are some professionals, either Jeff or producer, that you admire? Um, I. Like I said before, I work with a lot of amazing talent, but there's definitely a few uh, people that um, over the years I've I've particularly enjoyed working with. Um, I really admire Chef Bobby Flay. Um, I've worked on his show for a very long time. Um, he is a true professional, um, not only in the kitchen, but also um, as talent. He always shows up to set on time, ready to work. He's always got a great attitude. He's super nice to the crew um, and to the other chefs that come on to compete against him. Um, I really do admire him. I think he has figured it out I, and, and always does it with a smile on his face. Um, so he's definitely someone that I I always enjoy working with because of that. Um, I mean, I, again, I'm so lucky. Like I, I work with so many talented people. So I, there are a lot of people I admire. Um, I, you know, I, like I mentioned before, I got just recently got to work with Martha Stewart and um, she was so nice and so professional. Um, you know, it's really, I think it's really great when, um, you know, you see these people, uh, these very famous people um, on TV and, and you think, oh, I wonder what they're like in person. Like, I wonder if they're nice or, you know, um, and then when you actually do get to meet them and they are nice and they are like, you know, really professional. It's, it's really, I, like it, it makes me feel so good because I, you know, I'm, I hope and wish that they are, but then when I get to say that they actually are, that's a great feeling. Um, so I, you know, Martha Stewart is someone I, I definitely admire. Um, again, she's, you know, she, uh, she has such an empire and she's definitely, a, you know, such a boss. And I, I really look, uh, I really admire that. Um, and of course, um, the late Anthony Bourdain, I mean, gosh, like I, when I found out I was going to have the chance to work with him, I was so excited. I mean, I was just over the moon excited. Um, he is definitely someone that I admired for a really long time, um, before I got to actually work with him. So, um, meeting him, working with him was such a treat. Um, I really, you know admire what he did and what he continues to do. I mean, you know, his shows will live on forever. He will live on forever. Um, I think he really was groundbreaking at the time. Um, and, you know, I just, I'm so lucky that I got to work with him. It sounds like he was very loved in your community. Definitely. Everyone wanted to work with Tony Bourdain. <laughs> I hear that you do sometimes do interviews. Have any advice for me? Well, you're doing an excellent job. So, you know, you, you, you're hired. You can come on set with me and do my interviews. <laughs> uh, but yes, I, I conduct a lot of interviews. Um, that is definitely part of my job. Um, so anytime uh, talent or chef comes on and competes on our show or is featured on our show, we always like to interview them. Um, you know, it's, we're all about tracking story. Uh, so the best way to do that is by talking, um, you know, for us to get inside their head and to tell their story. Um, so 
I would say what I always like to do when I'm conducting an interview is to get to know the person ahead of time. Um, you know, build that relationship, lay that groundwork. Um, because then once you get them in the chair, uh, they're so much more, um, open, you know, they, you already have a rapport with them. They feel comfortable around you. So it's much easier to kind of get under the hood. Um, when, you know, if there's a level of trust, uh, already built in. Um, so I would say that's probably my biggest, um, uh, tip. Um, and then also, uh, humor, you know, people love to laugh. Uh, it makes the whole experience, uh, you know, fun. Um, a lot of times we're interviewing our talent after a 13 or 14 day or excuse me, a lot of times we're interviewing our, our chefs or talent after a 14 hour shoot day. So they are just absolutely exhausted. I always find a little bit of humor goes a long way. Uh, you know, it gets them smiling, it gets them talking and, um, it just, again, makes the experience, um, a, a little bit better for them. I am taking notes. <laughs> awesome. What is the most important piece of equipment to have on the job? Um, hands down, your walkie. Uh, your walkie is your lifeline on set. So, so yeah, your walkie is so, so important on set. It is your lifeline. The moment you step on set is the moment you walkie up. So that means getting your walkie on, putting your headpiece on or your surveillance on. And the first thing you say once you have, once you put it on is a uh, walkie check. And that alerts people that you're on walkie. Someone will say back, good check to know that you've been heard and that you are now communicating. So it is so, so important. It, it's a way for all of us to, all departments to talk. Um, and uh, it's a way for us to make sure we're on the same page when we're, you know, about to uh, set for a scene or we're about to launch a challenge. Um, it's, you know, walk the walkie is so important i mean we even have our own language like when we're on walkie you don't you don't talk normally so for instance like if you're wondering where someone is you say uh what's your 20 uh, and that that to us means where are you um when you're telling someone that you're coming to them you say flying in i'm flying in um, when you want to say you're going to go to the bathroom, you say, I'm 10 one. <laughs> so it's very, we really have our own language. Um, and I have to kind of catch myself because sometimes I'll use my walkie language at outside of set. <laughs> and so people are like, what are you talking about? Like, why are you saying these weird things? I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like in walkie brain right now so it's uh yeah it's so so important it's it, it honestly it keeps our set running smoothly being able to to talk to everyone because we have a huge crew i mean you know on average my crew is usually between 70 to 80 people um and for us to be able to be efficient um we have to be able to communicate and the best way to do that is over walkie 10 for copy that. <laughs> copy you. <laughs> What's the hardest part of your job? Oh gosh, the hardest part of my job. Um, honestly, it's the time. Um, I, uh, when you're on set, you are expected to be there six days a week, 14 hour days. Um, that is the norm for us, um, which sounds a little crazy, uh, but that that is the life of a producer. So um, when you are on set, time, uh, time is the hardest part because you're just always so tired and there's never any time to catch up on sleep. Um, so you're really just running on adrenaline, um, which, you know, it's 
like there is a there is sort of like an adrenaline rush that comes to being in production and on set but when you've been on a shoot for a month and you know you've only had you only get one day off a week um and you're you know averaging 13 14 hour days like it's very very tiring um i definitely have a few gray hairs <laughs> because of it um uh, but you know i wouldn't trade it for the world and i'm kind of used to it at this point um and uh it just comes with the job that's not surprising it sounds like a busy job yeah it is a very busy job um but you know what i like busy being busy busy is good wow colleen i have no idea how much work goes on beyond the scenes it really sounds like you constantly have tasks to do. I have you making time to bake still. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. It was such a pleasure talking to you and I I hope you learned a little something about my uh TV world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. What the heck is that? Wonders, oh wonders on the wood. So many wonders to be old. So many questions in my mind. So many questions over the time. Ask them so so easily calm. I let you know to ask someone. Oh, masters on the trade Ask them how cloud get the shade Beat the headphones in the one around 